Science just kind of made sense. Um, I like the idea that you can use physics to understand what goes on within the human body. Um, it sort of has a, a good practical point about it rather than um, something very small or very far away that you can't actually relate to on a day-to-day -day basis. I quite like finding a problem and knowing I can get a solution to it. And I, I love that feeling of nearly getting to the solution and knowing that you're nearly there and that like, lame excitement you get when you find the answer to a problem. Um, which kind of pushed me into doing physics because I, I enjoyed maths but I wanted to do a more applied side of maths which pushed me towards physics. Um, I think it's being able to try and answer intriguing questions with experiments. So being able to kind of come up with, well, well why does that happen? And then try and work out a way of finding an experiment to give us the answer or perhaps just to bring us even more questions as to what's going on, which is probably more likely. Well, I think if you're the kind of person who's like really inquisitive and you want to know more about what's going on, like if you're that child that says, but why, but why, all the time, then science is perfect for you. I think it's good to keep you can rather than just accept things happen, know why they happen, and you can find a problem and work out why and get that satisfaction of knowing that you've sat down and worked out what's happening. I think probably the, the most disastrous um, science experience I had was um, my um, physics mock um, practical where I set fire to my thermocouple and, um, and things went downhill from there on, really. I think it just completely shocked me, so I made all sorts of stupid mistakes. Luckily, it was only my mock, so the real practical went by a lot better. Um, I was always interested in the medical side of it, so I did a physics with medical physics degree, which meant that I did a lot of medical physics projects as part of my degree, and that sort of led me on to doing my PhD, um, which I thoroughly enjoyed, so I carried on doing research. <laughs> I'm only in the first like six months of my PhD, so I do have quite a bit of spare time at the moment. Um, I'm guessing that'll change, but for now I've got quite a bit of, a bit of free time. But I dance, so I do quite a lot of ballet classes. Um, when I get a chance to go home, I teach ballet and jazz, but I don't go home that much anymore. I also play netball. I'm on two netball teams, so that takes up quite a lot of my time. Um, I like to cook. Not very good at it. I like to pretend that I'm a good cook. I like gardening. I like being outside. I like going for walks. Um, I like being by the beach or in the countryside. Um, I don't really have a lot of spare time. I have two young children, so I, that's, that's where I spend my time away from work is, is with them. Well, I think if you're finding science interesting at GCSE stage is a really good sign because it gets so much more exciting and more interesting there's so much more to it than what they teach you um, so I think if at this point you're saying it's something I'd like to do then pursue it and carry on I um, went obviously did sciences at college and then during my degree I did a, a placement at a hospital in medical physics I think if you pick an area you're interested in or that you might be interested in it's worth giving it a go you're not stuck in that area I mean, I did different, I did an internship in teaching, did one in medical physics, I did one at a special needs school. I think if you can give as much experience as you can to find different things, um, speak to people who are already in the field, find out a bit more about it, and do maths. It's very helpful if you want to go into sciences, get a good, strong math background.